Hello, um, my name's Lindsay from lindsayelliot.co.uk um, and I'm a wellbeing and resilience coach working with the inside out understanding all three principles paradigm. So today I just wanted to come and do a brief live uh, session um, to talk about rushing and busyness and overwhelm. And it occurred to me to talk about this because not only um, do I experience these occasionally in my own life, um, because I'm human, um, but also because I see it a lot around me that in our modern world that seems to have an incredible amount of demands on us, it appears that way. Um, that there's a lot of stress and overwhelm and busyness and rushing going on. And particularly, I think I see it in my sort of age group of people um, who are parents and who are working, but also, quite frankly, anybody. And there's a lot of it just sort of going on. So what I wanted to talk about today is where those feelings of stress and overwhelm and busyness and rushing come from and where they don't come from. Uh, to talk a bit about my own experience and what I've seen and um, about a client that I'm working with as well. So as I hope, I hope that this will help you to begin to see maybe these um, feelings and experiences slightly differently. So where does busyness and overwhelm and rushing come from? So it can look really real that it comes from everything that we've got to do. So, and it can look really real that if I had less to do, I would be less busy, I would be less rushing and I would feel less overwhelmed. But in some ways that is a bit of an illusion. So, It's never the outside world that is making us feel and think anything. There is um, an interaction, if you like, between life and us, between what is occurring in our life and how we feel about it and how we think about it. So life is a contact sport, if you were. But there is no power from the outside world to come this way and make us actually feel anything. So having a lot to do, having a long to-do list, having to get the kids to school, get yourself to work, pick the kids up from school or after school club, get back, do the dinner, put them to bed, all of that. None of that, or if you don't have children, just get yourself to work, get to work, do the shopping, pay the bills, da da da. None of that actually has any power to make you feel anything. That is in essence neutral. And it's only ever our thinking in the moment about what we have to do that creates feelings of rushing, of busyness, and a feeling overwhelmed by what we've got to do. So I will give you an example of this. Um, because where I see it very clearly in my own life is that the beginning and end of my days tend to have almost exactly the same tasks in them. So the, the morning part of my day involves um, getting myself um, washed, dressed, breakfasted, <coughs> getting my son dressed, lunch procs done, you know, and getting him to school and then coming back and starting work. And then the end of my day involves pretty much the same thing. So, you know, it's getting dinner ready, getting my son fed, cleaning out the guinea pigs, um, you know, tidying up the house, um, getting my son bathed into bed. So pretty much the beginning end of my day have very similar um, tasks in them. And what I have noticed is I used to believe that all of having all of those things to do in this space of time made me feel pretty overwhelmed, stressed, like I was running from one thing to the next because I've got to get it all done. And that was how my experience tended to be. But then as I started to learn that 
my thinking in the moment about things that are occurring in my life is creating the feelings that I have within me, I began to see that actually it wasn't always 100% true that I felt overwhelmed, busy, like I was rushing in this beginning and end of the day. And I had I have exactly the same amount of time to get these tasks done because school starts at a certain time, have to have everything done before bath. <coughs> Sorry, I've got a bit of a cold. Before bathing my son has to be done in a pretty similar time frame. And what I saw was that some days when I didn't have a lot of thinking about it, I just got on with doing those tasks. And if one or two didn't get done, so be it, or they got done later. And my mind was pretty easy about it. And then other days I saw that I was rushing and busy and it's frantic and I've got to get it done. And so the outside events of things I have to do at the beginning and the end of the day, exactly the same, exactly the same. My response and reaction to them, totally different. So that tells me that it cannot be coming from the outside world. The overwhelm, the busyness, the rushing, because if it were 100 percent of the time, I would be feeling rushed, overwhelmed and busy when I've got these tasks to do in this period of time. And that wasn't true. That isn't true in my experience. It varies day to day. <coughs> and why is this worth pointing out? I believe it's worth pointing out and exploring and really seeing for yourself because what it's meant for me is that it used to look like the elements of my life were making me feel a bit rubbish, like rushing, busy, overwhelmed. And so therefore it looked like I needed to change my life in some way, take some of these tasks off my to-do list, get some help with things. But once I saw that actually it was only ever my thinking in the moment about these things that created my feelings, that some felt good and some felt didn't feel so good. It takes the pressure off my life being wrong, or something being out of whack with my life that I have to change or control. And it means that I can just rest knowing that, OK, at the moment, my thought in the moment this evening is feeling a bit rushed and overwhelmed. And as soon as I clock on to that, and I remember, remember, ah, I'm feeling my thinking in the moment about this. I'm not feeling I've got that I've got to feed the guinea pigs and I've got to do the dinner and I've got to get tidy up. I'm not feeling that. I'm feeling my thinking about it. As soon as I remember that, it takes the pressure off. I can smile and I can carry on with the task with a bit less pressure, a bit less rushing, a bit less overwhelm. And when we feel that the outside world is creating how we are feeling, it makes us feel, I think, like a victim to it. It isn't very empowering to believe that I've got too much to do. I've got too many responsibilities. It's much more empowering to know that even though we don't have any control over what's going on in our thinking, to know that it's all being created from within me and it's going to change i absolutely guarantee it's going to change and my experience of rushing a business and overwhelm has changed dramatically doesn't mean i don't sometimes get those experiences i do but i wake up to them quicker and i have them far less than i used to and my life is exactly the same it's as busy as it's always been and is likely to continue to be busy but <coughs> I don't necessarily have to buy into or continue experiencing feelings of rushing and busyness because I have a lot to do in my life. Those can be approached when we know that it's our thinking in the moment, not the outside events. It can be approached in a calmer, <coughs> clear, with a calmer, clearer mind. I am sorry. I've got a um, tickly throat. So I'd also like to just talk, because whilst all of that is absolutely true, I'd also like to talk about um, a client that I'm working with, that I've been working with on, uh, on an ongoing basis in the session that we had this week. 
where she is um, a manager at work, has a very busy job. Um, it's a corporate job and she has a certain amount of work that needs to be done and the company are cutting costs and getting rid of staff, but the workload is still the same. So in this, in this example, and this is what we were talking about, it looks very real to her that the stress that she is experiencing, the overwhelm, we can't get everything done, the feeling of rushing, of being busy all day at work, it looks very real to her that that is coming from not enough staff and too much to do. Now, there is also a very sort of real world practical aspect to this understanding in that still 100% of the time her experience of there being less staff and the same amount of work, her experience of that is absolutely coming to her through her thought in the moment. 100% of the time, because also, as we discussed, sometimes she's up here with, I've got so, we've got so much to do, there's not, not enough people to do it, da, 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 da. and then sometimes she's down here. Okay, we haven't got enough people to do, but we just need to get this next task done. It goes up, it goes down, depending on where your level of consciousness is. It affects how, you're think, how, you, how you are affected by your thinking about things. So we started to clear that up, and she started to see that. But there's also something very practical in that we also discussed that, of course, if there is, is very real in the physical world that certainly in this client's job experience, there is too much work for the number of people to do it. And this may be true in your life, that there's one person and there's just actually is too many tasks for you to get done in a certain period of time. So if you're looking after an elderly parent and you're looking after your children and you're cleaning the house clean and you're doing all the food shopping and you're holding down a job, those may be physically, you know, physically within the time frame that we live in, too much for you to do. And as with this client, there is physically too much work to do. So we do need to create the conditions. So she needs, she's flagging that up with work. And you do need to create conditions whereby you can objectively, with a clearer mind, look at, well, actually, I have got, there's no way I'm going to be able to get this, this and this done in this time frame. So I'm not going to be able to do it all. So maybe I need some help. So in this client's case, from a clearer mind, she's able to flag it up with her bosses. that Actually, there is physically too much work to do with not enough staff. What's going to get what's going to get dropped? And even that experience is coming from the thought in the moment about it. So even though we need to create those physical world conditions, it's still incredibly useful to be able to see that our experience of that overwhelm, that busyness, that too much to do is coming from our thought in the moment. So that when we can take that off of our plate, it's not this making me feel something, and we can calm our mind down about it, then from that clearer place, we know that, OK, but I still need to action something. I need to flag this up. I need to get a cleaner. I need to get someone in to help me towards the end of the day. We need more staff members or we need less work. And it's I find that people can act from a much clearer, calmer, <coughs> more resilient place when we understand that it's our thought in the moment creating our experience. And that sometimes we have to make some space in our lives, that sometimes we have to create the conditions, the circumstances whereby we do physically have a bit less to do. And when we're not in that stressed up here, I can't cope, I can't do it, or I can't do it all place. I think also when we are, OK, I may have too much to do. And I know that my thinking and feeling is going to change all the time about that. But I do know from a calmer, wiser place, I need to get some help or we need more staff. It allows more clarity. It allows our resilience to shine. It allows our wisdom to talk to us and give us a solution that when we're not, as you may have seen a previous video, when we're not up in our head with the snow globe shaken up about how busy we are and how much we've got to do, as that settles, <coughs> as that settles, our intuition, our wisdom, 
our clarity can speak to us. And from that place, I think we are able to, if we need to, rearrange the circumstances of our lives to create more peace. So I hope this has been clear. I hope this has been helpful. Um, if you have any questions, please do contact me. I love questions. I love answering questions. I love talking about this. This understanding has changed my life. Um, and I know that it can change your life too, because it's also changing the lives of hundreds of thousands of people all over the world. So when we understand that we really know that our experience is coming from within us, it takes so much off of our to-do list. It takes so much off of our plate and is incredibly liberating. So I'm going to be back next week, next Thursday with another Facebook Live. Have a beautiful week until then. And yeah, if you're watching the recording of this, thank you so much for taking the time out to watch it. And I'll see you soon.